How was it playing in the uh, black uniform, Jerry? It was nice. Um, you know, we were, we were all looking forward to it. You know, all year, um, players. Uh, you know, first time we've ever done this here, and it's cool to be a part of. It. And uh, you know, I'm a lot happier that we won. You know, in them, but uh, it was cool. I mean, the stadium looked awesome. You know, blacked out how it was, and uh, I liked it. It was a good little change up. Yeah. There was mean to set the passing record to be able to do here at home. And oh yeah. Uh, first and foremost, all glory to God, because. Uh, if I was still living like I was when I first got here, I probably wouldn't be the all-time leading passer. So, uh, first and foremost, I have to say that. And uh, you know, secondly, all the teammates, all, all the players that I've played with, um, you know, that have helped me get there. Uh, all the credit goes to them. You know, like, like I said, I uh, I get to stand there and look pretty and do the interviews, and those guys up front are taking the beating, and those guys are making catches when I'm trying to get them killed sometimes. So. Uh, all the credit goes to those guys, and what it means to me, it means a heck of a whole lot. You know, it does, um, uh, especially you know, especially with with Big Brother, you know, <laughs> here here to witness it. You know, that that's something that I told him. I want to go there and you know make sure our names are at the top of the record books, uh, and not. I mean, that's just as, as as a competitor. And so, as long as we can keep doing that, you know, I think it's cool for us to talk about down the road. Uh, so it meant it, did, it meant a lot, but I'm glad it's over because now we can just you know keep on focusing on the wins. Does this record mean any more than the other record that you've already set? Um, uh, I don't know. I, I didn't really have a different feeling. Um, they're all great, <laughs> you know. I, uh, you know, I've been like I said. I say it all the time. I've been through the four and nine seasons, so anything we do positive, you know, I'm going to be thankful for it. Um, you know, so it doesn't feel any different. Um, but I sure was very joyful. I, I was very happy. Um, yeah, because I'm, I'm the biggest Fresno State football fan there is. Um, you know, I'll argue that, and you know, I just happened to get to play quarterback for him. What was uh, what was going on that led to uh, Josh's big Um Honestly, uh, like, like I said, you know, just like the same thing when Tay or Burst has a big night. Um, all three of those guys work so hard. They got to decide who they want to cover. They got to decide who they want to double team. They got to decide, you know, who they're going to roll their coverage to. And it just happened to, you know, be harp tonight. And so, you know, again, I'm not going to force feed anybody. You know, I'm going to go out there and read the defense and see it how I see it. Um, and harp, I have complete trust that harp can have 20 catches every game. You know, uh, I have complete trust that all those guys can. And it just happened to be harp tonight. And he deserves it because he works his tail off. That being said, Eric, how much would you think being in this offense for the second year helps you compared to this time last year with all your pre-snaps and your progressions and able to make those decisions as a line? Yeah, no doubt. Uh, some of it is like ride, you know, riding a bike. You know, it's just natural. You know, it's just, you know, I'm not up there thinking, okay, our playbook says this. I got to do this. I got to do this. It's to the point now where I'm out there just playing. You know, I'm not thinking. You know, I'm just going, let's cover it. Bam, get us to this route. Or, you know, what's the blitz, you know, go to do that. I'm not thinking, oh, what's the word for that? You know, uh, what's the word that I have to say to make him do that? Um, it's none of that, you know, for everybody. <clears throat> so, I mean, we got so many just sleight of hand gestures or, you know, things that just look natural that we've gotten to in the second year with the receivers that you know, I can almost look at them and they know what route, you know, I want them to run. That shovel pass has been working out pretty nicely for you guys. So yeah. How do you go about what was kind of that method to success behind that? Um, it's, it, when team, every team we play is gonna try and get hits on me and try and you know try and hit me around when we're in passing down and stuff like that. So they're gonna put a hard rush on. You know they're gonna put a hard rush on, and that's just one way. You know when you got great effort guys. I mean you watch those Nevada defensive line play on film. They're, they're, they're some of the guys that play with the most effort I've ever seen. And so they're they're a high motor guy every play. So when you can get those kind of guys on some screens, we do a lot of screens. Um, you know you shovel passes like that, get them run up the field and just hit them quick underneath. Uh, that kind of stuff helps us, and uh, again, our coaches do a great job of coaching stuff up, preparing us for twists, and when they don't rush hard, to make it still work. So, uh, hopefully, it continues to work because uh, you know I don't mind throwing it forward two yards and having him run for thirty. <laughs> a big night for Josh Posada, you know, 116 yards rushing, 40 yards catching the ball. Yeah, yeah. Uh, again, another all these guys that have big nights. That, there's no secret to it. These guys work hard. Uh, these guys come out every day and put their time in the weight room. They're guys that aren't late to things. They're guys that don't miss things, and they just grind. They, no matter if he had two yards last week, I, I don't doubt that he could rush for 100 the next week. You know, it's just one of those things. And so yeah, I'm happy for him. And hopefully, it continues because it makes my job a lot easier. Derek, can you describe, can you describe what happened? Fans kind of reacted when they saw that it was open for you. Did they have any influence on you? 
when I ran? Yeah. Oh man, no. Nah, honestly, <laughs> honestly, I was trying to throw it. Um, you know, because I didn't want to have to do a flip or something like that and get yelled at again. Uh, <laughs> you know, um, so I was really just trying to throw it. Uh, and then, honestly, once I, I pump faked and the guy backed up, I was just praying that I was fast enough to get to the corner. And, uh, I, I didn't. I, I wasn't listening. I didn't hear him. But I, I just remember I was really trying to throw the ball. That's probably why it took me so long. All right. Now, Kevin Smith, the record that he owned that you broke. What kind of influence did he have? Oh, man, um, he's been great to me. Every time I've ever seen him, every time I've ever been around him, he's been uh, phenomenal to me. He's always kind. He, he's always been there for support, um, to talk to, uh, and, and I can't wait to see him again. You know, uh, he means a lot to me. He was one of the best quarterbacks to ever play here, and that record's been here forever. And so, uh, you know, as a Bulldog fan, I, I, I kind of feel bad, you know, uh, but uh, at the same time, it feels good, you know, because I think I don't think he, he would mind it anyway. The, the game, the score showed the blow up. Did it feel closer to you? Um, honestly, I felt we were moving the ball great, but we stopped ourselves. You know, when we turn the film on, we're going to be sick because uh, we left so many points out there. Uh, it, it drives me nuts just sitting here. You know, the stats and all that is great, but uh, honestly, what's been going through my mind is I'm so mad that we didn't finish a lot of those drives. Um, you know, I think we were one or four on fourth down. That's unacceptable. We can't do that. Uh, when coach trusts us to do that. Um, you know, I, I missed some throws on, on a couple third downs, which irritates me, um, which is just going to make me work harder, you know, so uh, that kind of stuff irritates me. But I felt like we were, you know, if we if it came down to the last drive, I felt confident that we'd go down and do it. Guys, that's that.